you know, when somebody says globalization, globalization is a pretty word for what I have told you and what is in by my book in the know, which is not new, that I have said there, the new world order will take over and you will have to dance as fast as you can. I'll say, they will say when. When you also look around, and I do not know where all of you are living, where you have come in from, we also know that police forces around the, the world have been trained and programmed and reprogrammed. Now, of course, if you are in Canada and you never checked out, you didn't care to check out, or you were just too good too lovely and too trusting, then you would know that the Canadian RCMP were all trained by those from Hitler who came to Canada and were heavy duty in our forces. So what does it do when you sit there tonight listening when I say no, 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 no. 2010, when I told that in 1996, 2010, which is it going to be in, what is it, 15 days, 20 days? It's going to be 2010. Then you are going to see the real problem starting to show its face. And then you will also see, as I foretold, and I am telling you tonight to prepare yourself and to be in the know, as you see greater storms, big fluctuations in weather, you will also see and realize that there will be more earthquake activity. When I told people from Switzerland who came to visit, from Switzerland and had asked if I could make so time that they would come from Switzerland and speak with me, I told them, you will see in Switzerland big mudslides and layers of, of snow and ice cascading down. So beware that you find people that will build walls, retaining walls, to protect their little houses that are sitting in the valleys and against the mountains to make sure and, uh, you know. Another thing is also what is kept from you. A matter of fact, we have seen it so close flying over that now not all UFOs are round. There are UFOs that fly over that are quite triangular. So then we go and when you say, what has that got to do with it? Well, there are those in other galaxies and upon other planets who know what is going to take place here upon planet Earth. But also some of those that come to the planet are guilty of hollowing out your planet's crust from gold, copper, platinum, silver, and it goes on. The list goes on and on, and it's all being trucked off your planet to planets in other galaxies. And, you know, you can't say anything to me. You can only say something to Rome and say, thank you, Rome, for having kept this so secret and having made this uh, so a sad condition for the planet. So 2010, major, major destabilization of various conditions of economics, major. Also, in this oncoming 2010, since I was named many years ago and didn't accept, I have to tell you, in 2004, I was invited to become the Seoshant Bastion. When we look at Climate Gate, this server was hacked 
that was used by the climatic research unit and copies of emails and documents were posted online that undermined the views that human activity is affecting the world's climate in ways that are potentially dangerous. Skeptics say that the emails showed scientists had colluded to overstate the case for man-made global warming and manipulated the evidence. Listen carefully. If you continue to create massive wars, drop bombs, kill off the population for thousands of years to come, because these, uh, shall we say, they, 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 when somebody said weapons of mass destruction, did you ever think about it? I survived World War II. I know all about Hitler and Hitler's monsters that collaborated to create this horrific war in Europe. And what was this war created for? To get rid of the Protestants and the Jewish people and other, uh, uh, what shall we say, religions or spiritual groups that were up on the earth and other people that were there. That was this war for. And, and that's what I can tell you. I know for a fact you see, now you say, oh my goodness, this woman is ancient. Well, yeah, you're right. Ancient, all right. But I did see what happened. I was privy to some of the horrific things that went on. And I will not say that every priest in that community was corrupt. But I can tell you 85% were active and zealously working on reporting to the Germans where the Jewish people and the Protestant people and the gypsies and then the others were because they slaughtered up massive amounts of gypsies and massive amounts of Protestants and massive amounts of Jewish people. You see, nobody ever talks to you about it because everybody gives you the number of the amount of Jewish people that were killed there. They never ever speak to you about the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of others. No one does. No statues to them. No no post of remembering them. But that is the same with every war. They don't remember the grandfathers, the grandmothers, the mommies and the daddies and all the wonderful children. They only remember the soldiers. No, I'm not a lover of soldiers. I feel sorry for many of these wonderful young soldiers. I feel really sorry for all the letters I get from them when they say my life is ended when I killed the first person. I never was the same and they cry. Because they cry it is against the soul. It's against the spirit to take the life of anyone of anything. You know. You can go to our blog tomorrow and you will find my thoughts on it because everyone is religionized. That's what the word is because we are not a religion. So I can say it to you.